He will most likely come out. His competition best this year is 165 kilos. This is a very strong opener, a big opener for him on 60. Very smooth, just a touch forward. He makes that pretty solidly. Good lift, Ibitushin. So, it's like he's going to probably come out after Egypt. Mohamed Abdelrahim. So, Ibrahim uh, Arat from Turkey will be. Up next, it looks like with 161 kilos. Barring any changes. Yeah. Yep, he's coming out here. Points to his elbows there. That's to reference to the judges that his lockout, while mm -hmm. complete, uh, may have some anatomical limitations, so it doesn't look quite uh, straight. A very strong pull. Yeah, that's nice. Looks to be a solid lockout there. That left arm maybe moved a little bit, but we'll see if they Good get in whites. Yeah. Back it's a comfortable opener. Yeah, and good start age. to this men's 96 kilo category. 12 athletes Mama in it. Egypt, first so as we mentioned earlier, it's not going to be a quick session. I would love to have a camera in the back room right now. We will be able to hopefully get some updates from what's going on in the back. Uh, but last time I was in the back room for the World Championships last year, of course I wasn't commentating, so I was able to get in there. I saw Lesman Perez just We've got really the wrong just lifter warming on up. The platform, I'm assuming. Oh yeah, the chain's up. Yeah, now, yeah Lesman right. Perez was uh, just. You know, on his own timeline, it seems he knew that he was going to open up after everyone else had finished, and so he was able to time things to perfection. Yeah. Also, uh, a bit interesting. He was doing basically double. He was doing doubles yes. in the warm up the entire time, up to yep. very heavy weights, and, and still lifted fantastically. One of the most amazing things I saw from Lesman in the warm up room last year was a 160 kilo snatch plus power snatch, which is a bizarre way round to do it, yeah. and a real flex on all of the other athletes in that category to be able to do something like that. Yeah, a bit different. So after some jockeying around, we finally have the athletes coming out here. Yeah, Hakob McCritchen, I believe a multiple-time European champion. Then, of course, he moved up to 96 for the Olympic Games, which he was able to, he was able to transfer his Roby points up to that competition. One, six, three. It actually ties, well, it's about four kilos off his best snatch internationally. Oh, very strong. He gets that bar behind his head really well. Yeah. Yeah, he's a little bit stronger in the clean and jerk squat jerker. Good lift. What a be able to see. In fact, at one point, he held the, it wasn't the world record, but he had the heaviest 89 kilo clean and jerk that we'd seen at 211 kilos. No one was able to best that for quite a while. Obviously, recently, we've seen more and more athletes get up into that range since the 89 kilo category has become an Olympic category. But he was the top 63 for a while. Right, let's not forget that Hakko McCritchian was a world champion in 2019 in that category. Snatch 167 and clean jerk 208. I wouldn't quite have cut it yesterday in the 89s. We have a technical stop. Technical stop from the jury. I'm wondering if this is... Are they looking back at the hack of McCritchin snatch? I'm, I'm wondering if maybe there was a mistake as to which lifter was supposed to come out because yeah. we didn't really have a lift to happen that there would be any kind of review of the, of the actual referee's uh, calls. It's a bit odd. 
These jury stops are always a bit frustrating for mm -hmm. the coaches because it does throw extra time into it. Uh, anyone who's opening up significantly heavy is probably not too worried because no. I'll get out of a minute or two. Arad, but uh, if you're, if you're sent, oh, you get some. Yeah, there's That's some you know, anger in the back room there by the yeah. Turkish coach, coach of Ibrahim Arat, frustrated that there's been a, yeah, a mess up. So, so as is often the case the with Lesman competing, he's currently skipping in the back room, it's something he likes to do yeah. before he competes. He just jumps rope for a few minutes, just warms up the body. Yeah, he at definitely does a lot of a uh, little bit different training and things. We saw him in the training hall in Bahrain, spending a very long time in the training hall, but doing a lot of different exercises. Although some, I didn't see him do any kind of uh, weighted yoke carry as we saw Emma Duchesne do in the training hall. Yeah. So, okay. we're, dr we're dropping down in weight again. I'm, I'm We've already seen a 163. The bar's down at 161. We saw this at the Asian Championships. Yeah. That was the only time we'd ever seen it before. And now two international competitions in a row. In yeah, that, how, how bizarre. Yeah, very strange. I'm guessing that Egypt had put in the change to 161. Unless they were already at 161, mm. they just got skipped over. That's a bit odd. This is his opening attempt. The athlete from Egypt. Yeah, a little forward there. He cut the pole a little bit. Looks like a strong athlete. Didn't pull yeah. it. Uh, wasn't too low. Yeah, he's walking a little bit gingerly there. Yeah. I'm wondering if he's maybe got a bit of an irritation in his back, low back. Yeah, almost as slow as Kianush was yesterday, walking off the platform after every attempt. Yes. The Kini Schweiger. So great to see Kini just down me back in pretty good Egypt. form yesterday. Yeah, it really I mean, is. He wasn't far off getting the gold medal, to be honest. Yeah, yesterday's session was electric. Yeah, a phenomenal 89 kilo session. Funnily enough, the uh, the man who set the world record in the clean and jerk yesterday, we just saw in the training hall, going heavy once again. He just power clean 200 kilos. I'm talking about Carlos Nassar who hit that 220 kilo world record. He just power cleaned 200 in the training hall. He did some snatch pulls at 220 kilos, clean pulls at 250, and then equaled his back squat at 280 kilos. And then he took a 20 kilo jump to go for a 20 kilo personal record at 300 kilos, and of course was not able to get up with it. Yeah. We see a lot of the athletes training basically immediately after the day after their training. This was asked Welcome to me. Back uh, to the platform, representing Egypt. I actually had a conversation Mohamed with Cody Salim. about yeah. this, and we know that some athletes just, you know, this is their profession, so they, they take it very seriously. They yeah. come back, start training right away. Some athletes are potentially here for a while, and they're a little bit bored, so they just start doing some, some kind of conditioning and get ready for the next competition. Second attempt now for Abdel Alim from Egypt. Much better. Yeah. Got that behind his head better. Mm -hmm. Still a touch early. He does look to be in a little bit of discomfort there. He's, yeah. he's limping or usually walking. Yeah, it's yeah. not, not looking super solid for him. Mm -hmm. But he was strong in that lift. Two minute clock. 162 on the barbell. Mohamed Salim remains the athlete for his third attempt. So, so Here interesting right now. Egypt. 162 on the bar. We already have an athlete that's made 163. So bizarre. Some mix up in attempts and yeah. athletes being called. Now leaves him with 162. You know, I'm not sure how that rule would work as far as him wanting to take 163. Who would be given credit? Obviously, Hakob would because he did it chronologically earlier. But certainly an odd scenario. So eight athletes still yet to open, four of them at 170 kilos or more. Those are Nagisa Adilatuli, Jan Hok Jang, Chen Po Jen, and of course, Lesman Fredos, the four athletes we'd expect to be pushing up into the high 70s, 80s. Lesman has put in 180 kilos for his opening attempt, and I would not be surprised if he does take that. Of course, we have Esak, the uh, president, president of the Bahrain Federation, sat watching on eagerly. He always gets a little bit nervous before he sees any of his athletes competing. 
Lesman, of course, his first athlete from Bahrain here. And then opposite us in the stands, Max, we have Gorman Asian, who is currently wearing yeah. his Team Bahrain jacket. And uh, no doubt Essak will be back to watch him compete as well. Yeah. Okay, so here's Jorge Moreno. He missed 160 kilos in the back room on his first attempt. He tried it again and made it. He's now bumped up 165 for his opener. Hopefully that's just the, uh, the curse of the final backroom lift. Often feels like the heaviest lift of the day. Ten seconds. Wow. Very, very confident snatch. Yeah, very fast lifter. <coughs> Easy. You know, these Colombians, you've seen a few of them really running the time down on almost every single lift. Just a little bit of extra yeah. motivation to have to pull the bar. Sometimes you see athletes who almost become a little bit paralyzed by starting, initiating the pull. They need some sort of something to kickstart the whole movement. That's often why athletes have preparation yeah. that they do, routines. Uh, they walk to the bar the same way. Everything is a, a routine so that once they step on the platform, they don't have to initiate anything. They're already in motion. Yeah, they want everything to be completely unconscious. It's the same routine every time. See here, Hovasanian. So David has extremely strong shoulders. I've seen him strip pressing, push pressing a lot of weight in the training hall. Very fast lifter. Very solid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a good lift there. I mean, it's not, he's not looking like someone who's going to get another 10 kilos out of that snatch, but very yeah. confident still. The Armenians do like to open pretty heavy. We've just seen it there. I think he's aware of that as well. He's give a little shake his head. Yeah, we're going to take some conservative jumps here. First attempt. And look, like we talked about, potentially a lot of these athletes are eyeing each other up because. Uh, for all intents and purposes, they're probably riding off that gold medal position. Yeah. Paredes is so far ahead. Uh, they'll be basically looking to best the next man. If we look to the left and look to the right in the warm-up room, and that's your Super competition. Team, more weight. That because everybody here is in very, attempt, very similar shape. Right. Almost all Roman, the same numbers. Some Pradit just bumped up the athlete from Thailand. We've not seen him compete in quite a few years now. He snatched 173 kilos back at the 2018 World Champs. That was in Ashgabat. Uh, first competed all the way back in 2011. So we don't know what shape he's going to be in. We know he wants to get into the 170s, but before he opens up, it's going to be the second attempt now for Romain Imadouchen from France. So As a reminder, he said that he snatched 170 kilos in training this year and 165 in competition. Oh, that's yeah. an impressive save, Max. Yeah, beautiful adjustment there. He <laughs> sank down and just allowed his body to almost collapse Incredible. under that bar. Yeah. But he's got so much strength, he was able to fight with it and hold it. He is very happy. That ties his best in competition, like you said. We'll see what he goes for in his third. The and we see that he's very quick to pull those attempt. knee wraps off. He did tell us that he had some knee injuries this year. He wasn't even able to train for four months. He's only been training for this competition for one month because wow. of that knee injury. And Max, you don't see often bigger athletes able to pull off acrobatic saves like that. I mean, like you said, he let his body almost collapse. His trunk, his spine, it just sort of loosened up a little bit. Yeah. And he was able to sink under that, tuck the hips under. Great save there. Second attempt now for Ibrahim Arat of Turkey. Now, his overhead position is not as stable. We'll have to keep an eye on that as he catches his weight. Wow. Much. Oh, his left yep. arm. Yeah. As he was recovering and standing up, his left elbow no, just buckled. Out. Yeah. And he had he to strain it back out. He's a bit confused or he's playing confused. I think he's playing confused. Yeah, I don't think you, uh, yep. you yeah. feel that. 
<laughs> the first stop, you, know, you got to sell it. The, the first attempt, we could see his elbow a little soft. Other challenging here. And you know, that's the issue, I think, with these coaches who are at that angle. There was no way that they could possibly see his left elbow. The plates were in the way. They would have no idea. But you can just see. Yeah. I mean, it moves a couple times, once in the catch, and then once as he's standing. There's no way I would have thought the jury are going to give him that. Yeah, a bit of a challenge there for him. He has the strength. He just probably needs a little bit better speed to catch that bar. If he's a little bit faster under, gets a little better pull, either one of those factors would give him that much more time to solidify that lockout when he finally receives the weight overhead. If he can do that, he's probably going to be okay. The jury. the jury confirms no. the referee decision. No. Lesman no. Paredes is still Final. at the bar. The, of bending and re -bending the barbell. The Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, maybe not. Perhaps he's uh, he's got a sign. He's got a while, so he could still be at the bar at the Hilton. You never know. So it is a no lift. The jury will uphold the decision by the referees. So he's going to have to retake that or go up. Yeah, that one six five is uh, he's the only athlete here with one six five. So if he stays, he'll be following himself. He's got a minute forty. Yon Hak Jang from Korea is at 150 kilos in the back room. He snatched 174 kilos a couple of years ago at the Asian Championships. Wasn't All able right, to put up a total at the last World Championships, First attempt, unfortunately. Nagisa Adela Tuli of Kazakhstan is also at 150 kilos in the back room. And we're going to see the open attempt now for Yemar Mendoza. The second of the two Colombian lifters. Now, Max, when was the last time we saw Mendoza lifting in competition? Was that just, just a few months ago, I think. Yeah, yeah, he was here actually, uh, 2022 Pan Ams mm. in Bogota. This is only a kilo under what he did there, his best international snatch. And he's down a category, so this is big for him. Yeah. Yeah, looked a little bit heavy there, yeah. kind of rushed the middle of the pull, got a little bit out of position, didn't mean accelerate the bar like he needed to. Yeah, this is a little bit labored as he pulled with a relatively low hip start. His hips rose, his chest Columbia, dropped a little bit. Just wasn't able to maintain a nice torso position. So he's still the lifter. We've got a few at 166. Now, what has the tie lifter got there, Max? He's inhaling something. Oh, yeah. He, he was that. inhaling it through his nose and then it, and then through his mouth. Mendoza, now yep. the athlete. Perhaps 166. oxygen. We've seen a, a, few, a few athletes bringing some Columbia. oxygen containers Jamar. with them. Mendoza. Uh, an, an interesting move. So a lot of these athletes using knee wraps for the backs, uh, for the snatches here. Yeah. Yeah, probably not super tight. We can see he's just basically stringing them around his legs. Probably just enjoys the extra pressure and support they offer, uh, where we might see someone tighten those up a bit more in the clean and jerk to get some of that rebound out of the bottom of the squat. It's actually probably uh, a more common thing we see in South American countries to use these thicker, more, you could almost call them powerlifting style knee, yeah. knee wraps. We don't see them very much outside of that. It used to be the old ace bandages that the athletes yeah. wore. Yeah. Okay, second attempt now. He needs this. He's got to be a bit more patient. Ah, beautiful. Yeah, everything was improved there. His chest yep. position, <laughs> max of speed throughout the pull was much better. Good yeah. lift, Mendoza. Very solid. So, so where are we at? We still have five athletes to come out. Nagisa Adela Tully. Mohammed wants Salim. 170 kilos for his opener. I saw him hit 170 kilos in the training hall uh, on the 7th, so was that six days ago, something like that? He's looking pretty strong. Yon Hak Zhang wants 171. Tempo Zhen, 172. That's some credit, 170, and Lesman, 180. I have had word, however, from the back room that Chempo Zhen is not looking happy. Uh, he was struggling to even snatch 105 kilos due to some pain. Oh, wow. So whether or not he's able to 
you know, push through that and come out and try and hit a big snatch. I'm not sure. Yeah, that could be a, a major upset if he's not in great shape. Certainly uh, will open up the door for a snatch medal for somebody else. Yeah, I think Nergissa are probably pretty happy yeah. if he sees that going on. Okay, so Ibrahim Arant will now take his final attempt. He was called for a press out on his second at 165. This is 166 kilos. Yeah, I'll see if he makes a correction, if he can be a little bit faster. Uh, <laughs> but he was yeah, faster on the was, pull. Yeah. A little bit rushed, perhaps, because of that. Left it forward. No, it All right. He still gets credit oh, for that 161 that he did. 167, please, now on the bar. This becomes the so first attempt we'll for if. Thailand's Sarat Supradit. So finally, we yeah. get to see Supradit what from Thailand. He's we one of those ones we're curious about. Yeah. Really look, no doesn't look like... Oh, yeah, he is coming out. Six kilos below what he hit in 2018 at the World Championships. Of course, Thailand as a country then suffered a ban, so he wasn't able to compete at his home World Championships in 2019. And uh, we've not really seen him then. He's an incredibly tall, muscular lifter for this yeah. 96 kilo category. Looks bigger than most. Yeah, Thailand has had a strong showing here. A lot of very capable lifters. We'll see what shape he's in. Taking his time, 10 seconds. Oh. He's got a very yeah. big pull on him. Yeah, a, a very strong pull, but a tiny no bit limit. slow at the end. Or kind of lands on him a little bit slow. Yeah. Doesn't have that snappy lockout that we like to see. Remains yeah. on the barbell. Second attempt, Subradit, Thailand. He'll have two minutes to come back and take so the attempt. There is nobody it's else sat on 100 and. I know there are several athletes with 167 kilos written in, so he will have equal time if he wants it. Potentially, if he bumps to 68, yeah. that would bring out Abdelalim from. Egypt, 167. He's the most likely to take it. Yeah, potentially. Yeah, we have several athletes with it in, but as you mentioned, Max, a few of them are likely to bump up those openers, or those uh, second or third attempts. Yeah, I think we're going to see this 170 mark in the 170s as basically the demarcation between those that have a shot at the podium and those that are, are here to participate. And I wouldn't be surprised if we have to see the three reds 175 kilos to really yeah. separate the podium spots. Yeah, for when sure. When I uh, spoke with Nagisa Adila Tully from Kazakhstan, the youngest Please lifter here, a few days ago, I saw him snatch the 170 kilos, Sarat. and it looked so Super good, eight. I asked him what he'd been hitting in training. Kilograms. And he told me that he snatched 185 kilos. That would be extraordinary. So whether or not he's going to be able to do that here, I'd be surprised, but he's got a very impressive snatch. He's still at 150 kilos in the back room. Yeah. He's, he's certainly the man to, to potentially upset this session. One of the best technicians here, youngest, uh, and just you know, comes from a very strong lineage of great weightlifters in Kazakhstan. Super did, 167. Needs to be a little bit quicker in the turnover. Much better. Wow. Yeah, strong lift. Such a, such a strong pull. I mean, he's got a pull that most of the athletes in this category yeah. would love to have. If you can couple that with some of the speed of these other athletes, you could have another Lesman. Yeah. yeah, it's a very solid lift for him. Time begins. So, 167 again. It's now for Mohamed Abdelham from Egypt. He does look like he's in pain. Yeah. I, I'm surprised. We've seen a few injured athletes in this competition dealing with some you know, particular back pain or major injuries they've come back from, but he doesn't seem to be affecting his lifting. No, he has lifted more than this at the Asian Championships in 20, sorry, the African Championships in 2019. He snatched 170 kilos. Oh. oh, it's a great pull too. He got it right there. He's yeah. He's definitely dealing with some back issue there. He's having a no hard time standing. Yeah, 
Has to use his hands to help himself up. Limping off again. I hope yeah. he's okay. You know, when you, you can't rely on your hip extensors to just stand up without any extra weight there, and you have to push with your hands off your thighs, you know you're not in a great weight. The fact that he's even able to find the strength to throw the bar behind him yeah. is impressive. So, we'll see if he continues on in this competition. His the way he's walking does not instill a lot of confidence. And now no. the athlete at 168 so now representing Armenia. I think will come out for his attempt. second attempt. He had a very interesting start to this competition. He hit 163 kilos, and then the barbell was lowered to 161 because there was a problem with uh, something in the back room. He'd come out early, and so he's actually been waiting for longer than he would have had he been able to come yeah. out at the right time. Yeah, it's as if he did the 161. He's waiting that long. He gives the old elbow point as well. A personal best, this, I believe, by Kilo. He's the 2019 world champion for the 89s. Wow, that was a dramatic... Yeah. Uh, diving of the chest through on that turnover. I did not expect that. That is how he tends to lift. Yeah. He's very almost horizontal with his torso, hips yeah. back, arms way back behind his head, bent elbows. Okay, so as we expected from Lesman Paredes, the world record holder in the snatch, he's uh, just started muscle snatching. He likes to do that up to around 115, occasionally 120 kilos if he's feeling particularly good. Uh, he does that for a double, and then he drops the bar back down to 70 kilos and starts snatching. He's currently at 90 kilos in the muscle snatch, so it may seem to a lot of you like he's leaving things late, but he knows that every single athlete has to have all three attempts before he even opens up. He's so far ahead. I'd be very, I'd be shocked if we saw Nagisa. Uh, push up to 180 kilos or more. Yeah. And I think he's the only one really capable of it today outside of Lesman. So Lesman can yeah. time things very easily here. Yeah. He is only 11 attempts out, or 13 attempts out here. So he probably wants to pick it up a little bit. Yeah, maybe. I think he's 18 attempts out. 16. We know how to count. <laughs> Neither one of us is right. <laughs> Couldn't quite get that fixed overhead. No. Yeah, that's disappointing there for Hakob McCritchian. Can we agree that it's 17 attempts out? 170 kilograms, please. Oh, are you counting his first attempt? I am counting. Okay, okay. yeah. First attempt. <laughs> That's the, the brief silence there was while Max and I <laughs> counted with our fingers. <laughs> the, en the endless discussion, if you're lifting in three attempts, are you three out or two out? <laughs> right. That's the debate. Okay, here's Nagisa Adilatili. He made this at 170 kilos in the training hall recently. At the Asian Championships, he opened again with this weight. Looked very, very good. A real specialist in the snatch. The youngest athlete in the field as well. Yeah, 2002, I believe, is his birthday. Points to his elbow as well. Is He's he a the fantastic only, uh, technician. Oh, he is, he is a senior. Yes, fantastic technician. Brilliant. Very nice opener. Yeah, he almost lifts in stark contrast to his teammate, Good. who we'll see tomorrow in the 102s, Artyom Antropov. Yes. He is a phenomenal snatcher and a good clean and jerker. Artyom is a, he's a very good clean and jerker. Good clean and jerker, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure there's an adjective to describe Artyom's snatching that isn't uh, a little bit harsh. Yeah. 
Havana Sian, Armenia, second attempt. Although he did snatch 165 Armenians. kilos in the training hall, so maybe oh, it was the cut down to 96 that was hurting him in the snatch. We may find that he can push up towards the 170 range. And if he can, I think he's going to be very dangerous tomorrow uh, going up against Miso and, uh, of course, David Fisherov from Bulgaria. Yeah, that'll be a very good session. The three of them competing against each other is its going to be a great clean drink session yeah. for sure. Okay, David Hovanissian now from Armenia. He made 165 kilos on his opener. Very fast athlete. Catches very deeply. Great mobility for a bigger athlete. Swung that a bit as he yeah. pulled off the ground. His chest came down a bit, kicking that bar around him. So still only one lifter has been successful with 70. Here's Romain Amadouchain from France, 170. This is a big lift for him yes. to tie his best training snatch recently. And uh, it's going to be a five kilogram competition record if he's successful. Five kilogram international record and matching his training record at 170 kilos, he had to fight hard to save that last attempt at 165. He felt a little bit acrobatic with it, tucking his hips under. Whether or not he's able to do the same with this sort of weight, we'll have to wait and see. Word from the back room is that Lesmond Paredes now at 115 kilos in the muscle snatch, so still hasn't even started snatching yet. Oh. Yeah, he left that a little bit forward, but he was courageous in getting under it. Yes, he was. impressive. I think he pulled a little bit forward straight off the floor. Yeah. You can see his body weight shifting forward a little bit further, maybe a little bit beyond mid-foot, and then a little hop forward. But 165 kilos, I think he has to be pretty happy with that. He equals his best in competition, and he had that four-month period where he couldn't even train because of his injury. He said he's in a deep sort of... Uh, phase of just trying to regain his health at the moment, yeah. so not a bad day for him. Considering he's only prepared for a month for this, that's an <laughs> exceptional result. So here's Yon Hak Jack from Korea coming out. We saw him snatch 160 kilos two days ago in the training hall. He has a phenomenal snatch in training. There's a video of him hitting 183 kilos, which... Uh, well, is absolutely enormous. Yeah. I think if he was able to hit that in competition, he'd be the third best snatcher in this category ever. Yeah, we've heard a lot of big training lifts, obviously, from Nagusian as well. Now, South Korea have had a pretty tough start. Yesterday, though, we saw the 81 lift particularly well. And he went four for six. Bit of a struggle. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, he was fighting that so well. He looks to be maybe irritated his hip no, there. Yep, sometimes that fight in the hole, particularly, you know, it felt like he was rock bottom. He was sort of on his way to standing and he had to pause and try and save. It take a lot of out of you as an athlete. Okay, huge six kilo jump here for Moreno. He made 165 on his opener. So we believe that Chempo Zhen is out of this competition, by the way. He's still not lifting anything in the back room after getting yeah. a little bit hurt earlier on in this warm-up. That's a shame. But it definitely opens up the gates for Nagisa and someone Amy. else. Yeah. Yeah. Perhaps it's going to be Yan Hok Zhang, who knows. 171 now for Mourinho. This is a personal best. Oh, wow. Beautiful lift. That was so <laughs> solid. Yeah. Fantastic Good stuff there. Lift, you know, 
He's relatively quick in the pool, but he doesn't give off the look of an athlete who's necessarily going to be the quickest, but he's so fast under that barbell. And once he catches the bar, there's no additional movement. There's no wobbling around. Yeah. He's so fast to fixate and stabilize. Yeah, that was a very good lift. Here comes the second Colombian with the same weight, 171. Yeah, we saw this yesterday. We've seen it a little bit. If there are two Colombians in a category, they tend to take the same attempt. And there's a bit of an internal battle to try and become the A-lifter for the team heading into this quad. Colombia has put on an incredible showing here yeah. at this, well, their own world championships. He's rushed the first one he took, but then he corrected the second. He's patient here again. Oh, he was so close. Yeah. Yeah. Such a close attempt there. But he will have 166 no, second. So two athletes still to come out. We think it's probably one. In fact, attempt. we just saw on the scoreboard, Chempo Jen pulls out. Max, the big fear here. Has the Bahrainian team been aware of Chempo Jen not lifting? Or have they missed that in their time ups? They've yeah. just lost three attempts before they come out, so they might have to speed up if they haven't realized. Yeah, we that can could see be a Lesman right in the back corner of our screen. Couldn't see what was on the bar there. Yeah. But he was snatching. Definitely not ideal to have a lifter pull out like that. Yeah, wow. there's seven attempts before Lesman comes out. 172, please. He's yeah. going to have to hope for a few misses Korea, just to give him a bit of time to get up there because he's yeah. cutting things pretty fine. These are very, very close. I mean, these are all within the three kilos of each other here. Yeah. There might not be any two-minute clocks. This could go very quickly. Yan Hok Zhang now will come out. He missed 171 on his opening attempt. This is 172. He said that he's had some back injuries recently. Hopefully we don't see any of that flare up. Yep. He's gotten he's been red lights on that already. Yep. He still stood it up, perhaps. <laughs> He ought not have done that. Although I suppose if he was thinking that his, if he felt like it was a good lift, he might have asked his team to challenge. play a challenge card. Right. One seventy-two on the yeah. bar. Probably always the best precaution the to complete yeah. the lift. You never know exactly Sarah. if that was for what what the buzzer was for. So he's gonna repeat that seventy-two, but that's gonna bring out. The Thai lifter, super dead, 172. Yeah, I think we were right on basically saying that mid-170s is going to be the the line for podium finishes here. So this will be a kilo under his best lift. Definitely sped up his turnover on a second attempt. If he can do it again, he's definitely got the pull for it. He's only got seven seconds on the clock. He's running it down. <laughs> Forward. Yeah. Started to move towards the bar a little early in that transition. No lifts. Now, Max, we were concerned about Mohammed Abdelalim. He was clutching his back after the Obanisha. snatches, and he has not yet moved in the back room, which has been lying down kilograms. ever since he went back there. Yeah, that's not great. So 172 will be the third attempt for David Hovhannisian, the Armenian lifter. He did miss his second attempt at 170 kilos, but he's been known to find an extra couple of inches of depth when he needs to.
He's taking his time. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he could have gone nope. any deeper to try and catch that. Yeah. No lift. Oh, yeah. So the next three attempts here are basically going to determine who those second and third the next four, right? Right, Colombia. next four, assuming Paredes. Two, open yeah. still. Two attempts for Nagisa remain, so he's in a pretty strong position. And then we have Moreno, who will not come out now, even though he's got 172 written in. He'll bump Chum. up a little bit. Chum, another lifter. But it's going to be Jang Yong Hak from Korea, who has to make this. Chum, We've seen ha. far too many South Korean lifters and missing and two out of three Yang attempts Yang at this championship. We've even seen some missing all three. Yeah, we thought the curse might have been broken yesterday, but it looks like we're well and truly back to seeing the South Koreans struggling here. He's got the strength, he's getting the bar there. He just needs to be a little bit cleaner overall with the lift, so he's getting white light. He did stand up that last attempt, but of course he was called for a press out. Ah. I think he's going to get called again, even if he gets up with it. It's remarkable that he's gotten up with it, but... Yeah, that's a really One unfortunate side. end to his lifting here. No, Max, I think he stood oh, that he up did. with bent know, elbows yeah. Yeah. the whole way up, which is yeah. unbelievable. You'd imagine with a slight bend in the elbow, as soon as you start pushing with the legs, you're not going to be able to maintain that position, that angle with the arms. You're I just going to buckle even more, but somehow... Yeah, tremendous, <laughs> tremendous overhead strength for sure. Kazakhstan. Well, he told us actually that he'd been working hard in training on two things. One of them was his back strength. The other was his arms. <laughs> so maybe he knows that he does that. <laughs> He's just been yeah. working on his triceps a lot recently. Yeah. Okay, so three attempts now until Lesman comes out. Two for this man, Nagisa Adela Tully, who's definitely eyeing up a medal in the snatch. One attempt for Moreno from Colombia, and then we'll see the Lesman Paredes show 180 kilos, still the weight that he's asking for on his opening attempt. This would seemingly be a very solid lift for him, 174. But we did hear, like you said, that he's done... 185. 185. In training. Which is just an absolutely in incredible weight. 215 in the cleaning jack as well. So both lifts he's set records in recently in the gym. 10 seconds. Like, oh! It looked to be fo so f flawless there. Yeah. But uh, just didn't quite catch it tight enough. Yeah, he had it for a moment. It looked like he was... Rocking back onto his hips, and he just sprung out behind it. Yeah, potentially could have cut the pole maybe a tiny bit there. Yeah, it's been a long wait for him. A lot of athletes are looking to lift between 170 and 174. So he was probably sat there for a while. So this would potentially... This is going to put him into the lead if he's successful with this. He's still a kilo behind... Oh, no, he's a kilo ahead of uh, Nergis. This just excel extends his lead. 174. Yeah, this will move him into the lead in the snatch. And then we'll see Nergesa look to move up ahead of him. Nergesa currently just behind him in the snatch with 170. A little short there. He's still in gold medal position with 171, no, although we don't think that's going to last long. Now, I am concerned lift. that Lesman has only just loaded 150 kilos and there's only one attempt. Third attempt, Kazakhstan. See him walking around the back there. That's a bit odd. Yeah. It's very odd, really. He powered the 150. He's dropped down to 176 here. I'm wondering if he's uh, going to take one more warm-up. Maybe two more? Certainly a bit strange. Okay, looks like he's 
realized what's happening and is now moving towards the tunnel. I'm concerned that the Bahrain team didn't realize what had happened. He's just powered 150 kilos and now he's coming to the tunnel. This is Nogueza Adilatili. This for the lead to move ahead of Moreno. Beautiful That's snatch. That's a brilliant lift for Nagisa Adilatuli, the youngest athlete in the field, Good makes 174 lift. kilos, and he just soaks in the moment. And so, Lesma Predas is coming out, and I can confirm that the last lift he hit in the back room was 150 kilos. Max, he's now coming out for 176. I think we can see that he looks a little bit distressed about this. I very almost odd. wonder if he should have just burnt the clock on this attempt, giving himself another couple of minutes in the back room to at least snatch 165 before he comes out. This is a 26 kilogram jump. This is uh, remarkable. And this is what happens when an athlete pulls out. Chen Pogen, he Lesman would have expected three more attempts before he comes out, and I just have to wonder, yeah. assume that he and his team didn't realize that that had happened. And they've been rushed out here. This will be one of the most impressive things we've ever seen, if you can make this, a 26 kilo jump. Not oh hard. Oh my word. Not hard at all. That is... <laughs> I mean, I think that Are everybody watching right now in the crowd doesn't realize just how exceptional that was. Yeah. Not only did he open above everybody else, but he took a 26 kilo jump. Perhaps, perhaps we're misinterpreting that. I don't think that was intentional, but if he takes a, a 10 kilo jump, he'd be at 186, Yeah. and then a four kilo jump, and he'd be at a new world record. Well, the world record, he only needs 178 kilos technically. Sorry, 188 kilos. Yeah, he's, he's calling for 81 now. So, yeah, I mean, if he's going to go maybe 81, 88. He'll probably uh, start this second attempt up a little bit, I'd have thought. Yeah. I think it was a very big jump. I guess we don't really know exactly what he does in training. I do think that seems a bit yes. a bit outrageous. Maybe they missed one warm-up. Maybe he goes to 160, 165. Uh, but he's at 75, 76 there. Looks completely reasonable. Uh, very easy opener for him, despite an extraordinary jump. Yeah. Now we just got a thumbs up from Esak, who is watching this. Uh, he received a bunch of handshakes from other yeah. members of the IWF as his athlete, Lesman Fredos, made his opening attempt. Lesman now, presumably they're going to make a change. You would have thought, Max, Two unless in this he is going to take 181 and get a big lead. And he'll then have seven kilos over Nagisa. And only at that point, yeah. he will make a bigger jump. Max, not only did he go from 150 to 176, he only made 130 kilos before that as well, so he definitely mistimed this quite badly. 130, 150, 176, and now 181 kilos. Was extraordinary. Added to that is the pressure that he, of course, used to compete for Colombia, and he's lifting in front of, you know, Colombians now. Now, of course, lifting for Bahrain, and he's done brilliantly since having made that switch. This is an enormous second attempt. Can he? Run it out. Can he run it out? Wow. Oh what my a word. fight. What a save. That was incredible. Good Max, I'm really, really struggling to see this, to watch what's going on. I mean, I'm so thrilled that he made it, but that does we've, not inspire uh, confidence for a third attempt at a world record. But we've spent a lot of time talking with him, talking with his coaches, watching him lift over the last few competitions. We know how much this competition means to him and how much he wants to snatch another world record here. 
intento I mean, I don't quite know how he was able to stand that up. That bar was almost half a foot ahead of him when he locked out underneath. He had to work so hard to get yeah, in front of it. That was an amazing save. You know, we talk about how incredibly muscular he is in the upper body. And, of course, there are critics out there who say it's not necessary. I think that is necessary. That is a phenomenal save that he made. 185 going on the bar now. We'll see what he does. Does he take 88 for the record? Surely he's going to go for that record. He's got a 7 kilo lead now over Nagisa. We know he's strong in a clean and jerk. Getting some final coaching there from his coach, informing him the don't leave the bar so far forward, please. <laughs> giving us all a heart attack. Yeah. Uh, wow. You know, sometimes as a fan of the sport, you find yourself investing in the careers of certain athletes over others. Lesman is one of those ones for me, and I think probably for you as well because of the access that we've had to yeah. him and his coaching team. And so seeing him power snatch 130 and 150 kilos in the back room and miss time things so much that he has to run out, take a 26 kilo jump to 176 kilos. My heart was in my mouth. I think a lot of people watching this probably feeling very Coming tense. Coming out for a third and final oh, attempt they're, they're in the snatch. They're taking 185. Representing Bahrain. Yeah, they're taking Lesman 185 Paredes. kilos. He's not going to go for Il his world record. Things didn't go quite right there for Lesman. But if he makes it, he's going to have an enormous 11 kilo lead over Nagusa Adil Atili, which yeah. sets him up very nicely to become a two-time world champion to regain or remain the world champion in this category. He rolls it back again. That last one was quite forward. That's a much better pull. Beautiful. If only he had a fourth attempt. We might see this man Good have gone for 190 Lady. kilos. That was the best looking of all three attempts. Yeah. Well, he had the most warm ups for that one. Yes. Good Lord, that was a, a dramatic session in the snatch for Lesman. Is that not one of the most spectacular things you have ever seen? We've just seen Piras Dimas come over now to Les yeah. to uh, Essak and uh, shake his hand to say well done. That was uh, staggering there. Yeah, For those of you who joined in near the end, what happened there was that Chen Pojen from Taipei pulled out and we believe that the coaching staff from Bahrain did not realize and so assumed they had another at least three minutes, probably longer, maybe closer to five minutes before he needed to come out. That meant that Lesman was rushed. He power snatched 150 and then suddenly had to run out onto the competition platform for 176 kilos, which he made. He's yeah. the only athlete who went three for three. That is unbelievable. Yeah, it really speaks to his level of talent in the snatch. A 26 kilogram jump from a power snatch to your opening yeah. lift is just astonishing. I'm not sure he had done any full snatches at that point. Presumably yeah. he did some full snatches at 70 kilos. He likes to do that, but he does often do snatch plus full snatch, that sort of thing. I mean, he is just a level above the rest. Wow, what a treat. I, uh, I honestly feel nervous right now. Yeah. Uh, my heart rate is still not calmed down from the panic of knowing that he was going to have to take such a big jump. Max, there's that great save that we saw from Romain and Medusian, 165 yeah. kilos. He tucked his hips under so nicely. Unfortunately, a press out there for Arat Ibrahim. He ended up being unable to uh, make a second or third attempt, unfortunately. Yeah, Mendoza there, 166. He's behind his teammate Moreno, who has 171. So the gold in the snatch then, if we have to say it again, goes to <laughs> Lesman Paredes of Bahrain. Three for three, 185 kilos. Then the silver medal, 11 kilos behind, is going to go to Nagisa Adila Tuli from Kazakhstan, who made 174 kilos. There it is in your screen right now. And the bronze to Colombia. Colombia again getting another medal. I don't think anybody wow. expected to see Moreno up in the medals at this point in the competition, but he made 171 kilos. Those are the only three athletes to make over 170 kilos 
of course, Sue Pradit, who we've just seen miss that 172 on the screen just there. He made 167 kilos, which makes him the runner-up in this session. Yeah, what a tremendous performance from Paredes. Uh, uh, 176 opener, and then one of the most miraculous saves at a second attempt of 181. Yeah. He left the bar quite a ways in front, but was able to stabilize and get under, and just with one of the most athletic displays we've seen in this competition, save that lift, and then come back and make seemingly one of the sharpest lifts we've seen yeah. him do. Have a very solid textbook looking 185. You know, I'm excited to see whatever he does at his next competition, whether he stays at 96, which is unlikely, I'm sure he'll be able to break the world record, or if he goes up to the 102 kilo category, nobody's yet hit a world record. The world standard is 191 kilos. You have to assume making 185 look like that, if yeah. he then gains uh, six kilos of body weight, he's gonna have no problem getting there. He may even, at some point in his career, get the greens on and snatch 195 kilos. Yeah, he's, he's the man that could do that yeah. with that body weight. And we know that he's aware of how strong some of these other athletes are. When we spoke to him in the training hall, we asked him about his competitors. He said that he knows that the Kazakh lifter, Nagisa Adilatili, and uh, the athlete from Korea, Yeon Hak Zhang, he uh, named as being two particularly strong athletes, but he's got such a lead now ahead of them. I don't think he needs to be too nervous. As long as he can make a f at least one clean jerk, hopefully more, he should be okay. Yeah, he did mention that he knows that uh, they're strong in Kazakhstan and Korea. I think Kazakhstan is certainly the man eyeing up potential upset here if he can. Yeah, Yan Hok Jang, of course, bombed out in the snatch, so Lesman doesn't have to worry about him. Chempo Zhen, another athlete who would have been able to push potentially Nagisa, uh, well, would have been able to push Nagisa, but maybe Lesman also hasn't competed, so Lesman is in a pretty good position right now. Devastating Fian Hok Zhang to miss those snatches. He made 183 kilos in training, but he will still hopefully continue on in the clean and jerk. He told us that his best in training was 215, which is way up there as one of the top lifts from these athletes. In fact, I do wonder if Lesman's 215 from the Asian Championships, in fact, I believe it is the biggest clean and jerk that anyone in this category has hit. And we know he's looking even stronger than uh, seven weeks ago, if that's even possible. But it looks like he is, so hopefully yeah. he'll be able to set a, uh, a big enough lead. So <laughs> a drama-filled session. Yeah. A lot of uh, a nail-biter, I guess you could say. Yeah, I'm still, um, if it isn't obvious through the commentary, I'm still <laughs> sort of calming down at this point. Uh, a lot of nerves for that performance from Lesman. I think as we were realizing from the commentary box what was going on and knowing that the athletes and fans watching on weren't aware of how mistimed Lesman's warm-up must have been, uh, I was definitely feeling a little bit panicky. But, you know, he's such a quality athlete. He pulls it off three for three there. Yeah, and a lot of times, too, we don't have a clear picture as to what's going on behind the scenes. Warm-ups are something that need to be calculated very, very precisely. Yeah. You want to make sure you're not rushing out there or, you know, in hit the opposite case, you may be warmed up way too much, way too soon. Yeah. Uh, so when we finally get, you know, privy to information like that, uh, it definitely adds to the, the drama of what's going on out here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when we spoke to Nagisa, he told us that training had been going very well. He mentioned those two lifts, the 185 snatch and that 215 kilo cleaner jerk. But also, and hopefully we don't see it cause any issues, it was a while ago, he had an operation on his knee, but he did say that it's basically at full health now, which is really good to see. He's one of so many athletes, Max, that we've heard from. He's told us about knee injuries, knee surgeries, plenty of knee surgeries, almost an everyday session. Someone's been... Uh, under the knife. Yeah. Yeah, sport at this level is very, uh, you know, in general, weightlifting is an extremely safe sport with low injury incidents, but there's definitely times when athletes have been pushing themselves as hard as possible 
This is the most elite level of weightlifting, so we expect that you know, potentially, unfortunately, there are injuries and you know, require surgery to fix. Yeah. Funnily enough, when we spoke to Nagisa, he seemed so confident about his abilities in the clean and jerk that he actually said that he's not concerned about any of his competitors except for Lesman. He identified him as his main opponent, and he may well be right with that. He's got three kilo lead over anyone else in the snatch other than Lesman, of course, yep. and he's got a stronger training clean and jerk than anybody else. In fact, back when he was in 89 at the Asian Championships, he beat... Uh, the man we saw yesterday, Kianish Rustami, in 2021, outlifting him by... Uh, in fact, no, I think what happened was he did outlift Kianish, as N was called with a very controversial press out. Uh, but he's made 207 as an 89, and now as a fully blown 96. I'm sure we'll be able to see him get over 210 kilos, which should be more than enough for him to solidify a world silver medalist. I think the question for him is, what does he do? Does he now drop back down to 89? and try and make the Olympics, or he surely can't go up. He's already looking yeah. a little puffy, you might yeah. say, and he's got a <laughs> teammate in the 102s. The 89s did seem to suit him pretty well, so we may well see him drop back down. Yeah, I think I think that would be probably the move that he makes, is going back to 89 for the Olympics. So just over a minute now until we are back underway with this men's 89 kilo category. As it stands, two athletes... Uh, Failed to register a snatch. The first, Chen Po Zhen, who pulled out due to an injury from the back room. We did notice, though, that he hadn't been training a lot whilst he was here. He, I mean, he was go, training. So he was looking to compete. He began warming up, but had to pull out. And, and then, of course, uh, Yon Hak Zhang from Korea. He missed all three of his After snatches. And so, as it stands, we have Chen the gold medalist in the snatch, Lesman Paredes. He made 185 kilos. That's two kilos shy of his own world record. The silver went to Nagisa Adelatili of Kazakhstan. He made 174 kilos. And the bronze to Moreno from Colombia at 171. We then have a smattering of athletes between 163 kilos. Oh, 161 is the lowest snatch there. Two athletes have that uh, at 167. They all sort of sit between those two numbers. 10 kilos now. It looks like, Max, we're going to see Mendoza coming out for his opening attempt. He's got 197 kilos written in. Yeah, we'll see if Welcome that, back. That Let's sticks. begin. The first weight on the barbell, 197 kilograms, representing Colombia. First attempt, Jemar Mendoza. You know, looking at the <laughs> scoreboard here now <laughs> with Chen <laughs> <Chico> Jen <laughs> gone, I guess that may make a, a strong run here at Lesman. Oh, yeah, I think Nagisa is going to really go for it, I think. Yeah, he's in a great spot to go for that silver medal in the total. Okay, so Mendoza has been called, but as we've Mendoza seen with a lot of the Olympian lifters, they like to run down the clock, but he's, no, he's going to bump up to 200. That's going to bring out his teammate, who clearly knew that that was happening. A bit of collaboration there between the two Colombian coaching staffs, because Moreno was stood there waiting to come out. Yeah. We have to believe there's definitely some uh, inter-team competition here, uh, possibly for a spot on the next team, or potentially some other kind of ranking system going on. But he is up five kilos on his teammate, so... If he just is successful with his 200 and continues to match his teammate, he'll handily beat him. Yeah, we do have the Pan American Championships in March in Argentina, and we have the Pan American Games this year, so both of them looking to make team spots for those. <laughs> nice clean, very strong. Very solid jerk, too. He doesn't have that telltale Colombian uh, readjustment of the hands. Good lift, Moreno. Just kind of keeps them where they are when he starts. 200 kilos stays on the barbell, representing Colombia. Jemar Mendoza, first attempt. Yeah, very competent opener. And now his teammate will come out at 200 kilos also. Yeah, this is a tight session, actually, because we've got basically 200 kilos is the first attempt. Yeah. The heaviest opener is 210. 
10 kilos is not a lot at mm -hmm. this number, at this weight. Uh, we'll see how quickly they get to Lesman. And Mendoza has a best clean and jerk, he told us, of 206 kilos, and he said that he's feeling very strong. Yeah, this is a, a pretty aggressive opener for him then. Not a bad clean. Here's the readjustment. Okay. Wow, now there was a little flicker <laughs> in his yep. left elbow. I'm not we'll sure see. if it's going to get noticed. Good lift! Nope, he three whites. Three whites there. Oh, Perhaps it was my angle, I don't know, but like something seemed to happen. Yeah. 200 kilos stays on the It's bar. an interesting uh, technical Zahid. artifact, the way the Colombians attends. all readjust their hands. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm wondering if that's something that's taught to them or if that's something that they've seen from their favorite lifter and it just kind of trickles down into the whole community. It's interesting though because the position that they end up with in the rack as they stand up the clean doesn't look like a particularly strong, comfortable position. They're always just right yeah. in their fingertips, yep. rarely able to get a full grip on the bar until they make that readjustment. Here's Hovinician now, 200 kilo opener. Beautiful clean. Yeah, a little bit slow as he finishes that stand. <laughs> I think he's a little bit light headed there. there. Yep. Yep. The bar was sunk too deep into his neck there. Taking his time. Here comes the doctor. No lifts. Oh now, no. it's worth no mentioning no at least no once no in each no session, no. in case there are people watching who've never watched oh this no. World no. Championships, no. that uh, the altitude is extremely high here in Bogota. We have seen a he's lot of athletes Armenia. fall. Uh, Pray to the, the heights in which they're competing. Plenty of athletes getting lightheaded, bombing out, getting fatigued, just feeling a little bit under the weather. Of course, as we move through this competition, the athletes will have generally been here longer, and so we'll be feeling a little bit more acclimated to the altitude. Yep. But Hovinician hasn't been here for more than five days. Yeah, we've seen a thought. few athletes fly in basically the day before, or even just a couple of days before. Uh, as you saw last night, Costa Star arrived just a day before the competition. Yeah, the day before. Yeah. Got in some light training, set a world record, and then equaled some PRs today in the training hall, interestingly enough. And like you said, I mean, the two larger Uzbek athletes, uh, Akbar Jurayev, the super heavyweight, and Ruslan Nurudinov, the 109, they arrived yesterday. They'll be training at some point today. Although, bizarrely, they're some of the other heavy athletes from Uzbekistan. Tasna Jabarova, for example. She turned up days and days ago, so I'm not quite sure why the heavy athletes didn't all fly in together. Perhaps when you're an Olympic champion, you're allowed to come when you fancy. So, 200 kilos again. Really nothing to correct on the last lift. Just needs to rack it in a way where he doesn't pass out. Looked better than the first. Yeah. A little tough though. Yeah. That you know, it's bizarre when an athlete slows down in that final quarter of the stand in the clean. Yeah, and then he has to rebend his knees and take two big steps. Those steps really exhaust someone, especially right before the jerk. Barbell resets to 200 kilograms. Not an ideal way to get set for a jerk. Third attempt. And we saw the Armenian athlete yesterday, Andranik Karapetian, really struggling in the clean and jerk, too. Hopefully we don't see that as a theme with I these Armenians. We've got a couple of heavier Armenians coming out in the next yeah. few days. I think we're going to see him bump Thank to you 201. Thank you to our loaders for doing such an excellent job at this competition. Potentially Thank gives him a, a bit more smoothly. rest here. Now, 201. Representing Egypt, first attempt. 201 kilograms of Mohamed Mahmoud Adelaide. Mohamed Selim. Represent Egypt. Okay, Mohammed Abdelalim now will come out, 201 kilos. He only went one for three in the snatch and 
looked to be in some pain. We then received word that he was just lying down in the back room for you know, 20 minutes or so, unable to really get up. He's still, he's still walking very gingerly here. He's not, not a confidence-inspiring approach. No, he's only competed twice. He was disqualified from his last competition. That was in 2019. This is his first international back since. It's impressive That's clean, yeah. Oh, not a great re-rack. Yeah, everything up until the second half of the stand looked really, really nice. And then yeah. suddenly his you know, shoulders dropped a bit and he had to take a step forward and kilos, just took it out of him. He doesn't look happy at John, all as he walks off. You know, he looks, he looks tense, Max, as though he's clenching the muscles yeah. in his back. He's not freely moving. The general hack now, 201 kilos. He missed all of his snatches, but that's not going to stop him from coming out and try and put out a big clean and jerk. He bombed out of the last World Championship, so... I'm sure in the back of his mind he's thinking to himself, can I at least make a left? I didn't make a single one last year. Made 205 kilos at the competition prior to that, though. An okay clean, yeah. a couple of bounces. Seemingly good jerk. We're <laughs> going to find out, though, right now. Yeah, yeah, three lights. Not only have Korea been oh, called or missed a lot of lifts, oftentimes it's come from them being called for press outs. Regularly they'll stand Second up the snatches or jerks and then be given Joe no lifts, but that Colombia. definitely holds strong. So, six athletes still yet to come out. I think the next person we'll see with 201 is going to be Delalim. We've got a Jim Mendoza, yeah. now the athlete at 201 kilograms. He represented Colombia. Second attempt. Yeah. Time begins. Yeah. Mendoza will bump up. Yeah. And then, as you said, Abdel Alim will need to come out. And it looks like he is now. He missed his opening attempt. Everything looked good Egypt. up until he Second attempt. 201 kilograms. steady himself with the jerk. And then it started to fall apart. I mean, a lot of respect to this man for being able to Get himself under the bar when he looks to be in as much pain as he is. Yeah, and it, you know, he's, it's that important that he makes a total because he wants to be in at least, he wants to be on the books uh, with some kind of total uh, going into the Olympics. Better clean all around. But that similar little step forward. Yeah, he doesn't look like his body wants any part of no. that lockout at the top. No, you know, the bar is high enough. His foot position looks to be pretty good, but as soon as he gets under it, his body just throws him back out of the way. Mohamed Salim, Egypt, third attempt. Unfortunately, he's going to have to take this 201 again. Yeah. And he's going to follow himself unless he bumps to 203, which probably. Uh, it looks like they're waving him down. He might, might, he might be pulling out here. Yeah. Athlete number 10, representing Armenia, David Valasian, has declined his third clean and jerk attempt. Oh, wow. Imadushin to follow. Yeah, he's. And did they say the right person has declined the third? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so Hovanisian oh, yeah. has declined as well. Well, he's the first to decline. We haven't seen if uh, Abdul Alim is going to take this 2 1 or not. It's still on the bar. He's still the lifter. He's got a two minute clock, but we'll find out if he's going to come out for that. From the body language of the coaches and him in the back, it looked like he was shaking his head as though he didn't want to do this last one. 
And we don't see him in the tunnel even at the minute mark. So, so you'll be pleased to know, Max, that Lesman Protos is definitely warming up on time. He's already made <laughs> 170 kilos in the back row. Yeah, yeah, they learned their lesson on that. He probably will yeah. still be the last to open, but even so, he wants to make sure that he's more than ready. Egypt, you know, attempt. you never want to warm up early, but the only Please thing worse than warming Mohammed up early City. is not being warmed up in time. The crowd's going to get behind him here. We're hearing quite a bit of applause for him. Okay, very impressive attempt upcoming here. He's very strong. His cleans have looked solid. It's just at that last point in the stand. He seems to lose some speed and take a step forward every time. Yeah. Every time. Oh, that was the best yeah. of all three attempts in the jerk. There was a moment if you could freeze frame the lift. Uh, he was under it and ready. He looks very disappointed yeah. there, struggling to hold in the emotion. Two hundred three kilograms now on the bar. First attempt. Yeah, that's it. Representing France. Painful way Roman to end. And a change. Two you know, it's interesting the strategies that go on the back room. It looks like, now. if anything, Lesman has overcompensated because word is he's now oh. dropped back Look down from 170 kilos to 150 oh. kilos oh. because oh. I think he realized oh. I'm going to be up way too quick. Yeah. yeah. No doubt he'll probably do yeah. 170, yeah. 190, yeah. 200, yeah. and then look to come yeah. out. And I think uh, two more attempts in the back room, maybe a, a few too few for him. Yeah. Well, maybe he takes a big jump. It worked for yeah. the snatches. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Only athlete to make three. Yeah, we've seen two athletes win the snatch <laughs> by <laughs> having to <laughs> rush out and make huge jumps from the back room. Yeah. We saw it with Pei and G in the women's 64s. Here's Hakob McCritchin now, a uh, clean and squat jerker. He's been over 210 in the light 89 killer category, so he should make light work of this. Almost a power clean there. Yeah, and a little squat jerk to come. Power squat jerk. A big hop forward, but yeah. he is very strong and stable overhead Amazing. there. Good yeah, you think that the two John. things that cannot go together would be oh, a squat jerk and a jump forward. Yeah. And yeah, Hakko McCritchin defies it all. Yeah, bar. shows how athletic he is. Kazakhstan. Common wisdom has no place in McCritchin's technique. So true. Okay, so here's the man that is really the interesting, the question mark. Yeah. What is he capable of? He said he's done 215 in the gym. He's second in the snatch. He's got a huge lead, three kilos over. He's never been over 210 in competition, though. Yeah. But he's gradually filling out this category nicely. He looks strong in the snatch. Took the silver medal with 174 kilos. It's his silver medal to lose, really, in this competition. Yeah, and a very, very good technician as well. Points to his left elbow. Very fast jerker. Nice clean. Oh, almost tough. pulled it back too far there, but he was up with it. Beautiful jerk. Yeah, I mean, the footwork <laughs> in that jerk is yeah. something that we really only see from good the Chinese as good as that. Yep. And that oh, is brilliant. Really so fast, really throws hole. his head through. Internally yeah. rotates those shoulders a bit, which makes his arms look even more bent than they are. But there's yep. no budging, there's no wobbling at the elbow. If you look at the scoreboard, we see some interesting moves here. Hakob's put 215 in, presumably waiting to find out what everyone else does. We've got a few here at 206, 205s, and then we're going to basically see Re uh, Lesman come out, possibly in the middle of this pack. Yeah. Max, I imagine Hakob realizes he's too far down, probably, to go for a medal in the total, unless, of course, Mourinho just is way out of shape um, and, and is unable to make any more lifts and so he's probably yeah. either looking at a clean jerk medal or he's just put in that massive second attempt in the hope that he can then drop back down and hit what he yeah. needs. So Amadushane's moved from 203 as an opener to 205. This would be very solid for him. Yeah, this is a, a big opener for him. You know, we caught up with him in the training hall. He told us that 215 was his best in training, 210 in competition. So again, he's opening within five kilos of his competition best. It yeah, paid off in the snatch, though. Considering he's trained for a month for this, this is 
exceptional. Tobaya, his coach. That's tough. He's got very strong legs, but he was crashed on and tucked those hips under. Pretty good. Looks like that left arm may have yeah. moved. May have moved. He even doesn't sell it there. Kind no. of good good wow. Okay. He got it. We'll see if the jury stop. No, no movement. That's uh, I think everyone in this building potentially blinked in unison there. Yeah, maybe it was a little bit of reverse psychology. Alternatively, that was us seeing something from our angle. We're not looking dead on in our position. Oh, no. yeah. Actually, I think it was our angle that yeah. made it look a little bit different to what it was. It yeah. might have been a bit of rotation that we saw that... Looked a bit relieved, uh, though, to make it. Yeah, he's in a good spot considering his training leading up to this. So Sarats and Pradit now will open things up with 205 kilos. Hasn't lifted since 2018 in international competitions due to the Thai ban. But he and his team are back in full force at this World Championships. Smooth clean. Wow, oh, such yep. an angle. He's so tall, and that bar is so far over his head. Just a slight no, deviation no, forward. No, no, no. It's extremely hard to get under it. 205, still on the barbell. Representing Colombia, Chor. Let's Marreno. see Lesman's drop down to 207 here. He presumably wants to basically secure that medal. So he looks. Is he tired or is he just waiting to come out? 205 kilos, 5 kilo jump on that opener. And this is uh, going to move him back ahead. Well, technically, he is already 5 kilos ahead of his teammate, but this for an even bigger lead now. Looks like a bit of a hitch there, yeah. but it's so easy for him. Yeah, so much power. Yeah. It's a great clean and jerk. Good lift, Moreno. Movimiento válido para Colombia. Eso está bueno. 205 so kilograms remains on the barbell. The question now Colombia. is potentially Mendoza. just a Second few attempt. lifts before Lesman opens at 207. Jamar Mendoza, segundo intento en el envío. His teammate taking 205, the same lift. He is five behind the snatch, though, so. Gonna be hard to pass. Bit of a tough clean. Oh. Uh, he fought with it, but it was just too heavy. Such a long split. No lift. Not Mendoza. able to support that overhead. Looked like his right oh, arm didn't no quite reach full extension. No obstante, el movimiento es nulo. 205 kilograms. Surat Superadit, Thailand. Second attempt. Time begins. Mendoza to follow. Segundo intento del envío para el deportista de Tailandia, Surat Superadit. So... Surat and Pradeep will come back out. He missed his opening attempt at 205 kilos in the jerk. He just started wobbling and, and came over to the right-hand side. He looked Mendoza. like he lost Columbia, his balance. Although I think he's kilograms. now bumped up to 206, so that's going to wow. pull out Mendoza. Clearly, he wants a little bit more rest. And Mendoza's probably going to bump as well. We're seeing a lot of movement. Nergissa, 209 now. Yeah, and Lesman has dropped down to 207. Yeah. So it won't be too long until he comes out. We have a lot of attempts written in at 206, but of course, 
Plenty of those will move. Yeah, basically everybody on the board Mendoza right is now is up. That brings the barbell to potentially the uh, fighting for Ibrahim that podium Arad. spot in yeah. the Queen and Jerk. Out on the platform for uh, first attempt they're in so the close jerk. together. To there's, there's really no standout oh, Queen and Jerk here. Okay, opening attempt now for Arat. He struggled in the snatch. He got up with several attempts, but was called for press out, so he was only credited with his opener at 161 kilos. Now, currently, the lead total is 379. That's from Nagisa. The silver medal position currently is Moreno, who, of course, took the bronze in the snatch. That's at 376. But the leader, by some way, Lesman Predo's not yet out. Very strong clean. Yeah, and those belts come out of the loop. <laughs> ah, the jerk was just not there. He was back behind it way too much in the split. He's going to repeat, he says. Yeah. 206 again on so. the bar. The second attempt representing the Republic of Korea. Chong, so 206 up. kilos now for Yan Hok Jan. He made 201. The clean looks strong. The jerk. He got three whites on, but it wasn't the most convincing we've seen. The South Koreans, of course, peaked around the time of the Asian Championships back in October for a massive national games. I imagine that's why some of them haven't been able to perform quite to the same level here. Yeah. Potentially, this 206 mark could could possibly get on the podium. That's a very tough yeah. clean. Multiple bounces to get up with it. Wow. That is brilliant stuff. <laughs> Complete dichotomy on the jerk. Yeah, he uses the oscillation Good so well. Oh. Two to one. That's a great oscillate so brilliantly off the shoulder. He times a different drive to perfection. I think that 206 is going to force a lot attempt. of lifters to try Roman. that 207 Indusin. more or more. No one wants to tie him. So we're going to probably see Paredes come out potentially very soon here. Yep. Medushane is going to bump up. He made 205. Moreno is going to bump up too. He made 205. Super Deep, Thailand. Super Deep probably will come out for yeah. this. And then it will be the reigning world champion Lesnar Paredes coming out. Got a very slow, clean, smooth, but uh, he gets that bar so high overhead. He has to be perfect in the in the catch. Yeah, if he doesn't fix it properly in the split, it is so challenging to run forward underneath it. Yeah, so you can do that. Stronger clean than so the first. Yeah, he can't tightrope this jerk again. Yeah. Yeah. He's stuck here in a no pretty hard, bad position now. Surely you're going to have to bump up to 207 to give himself a bit more time. That will bring out Lesman Paredes. Lesman presumably won't look to minute. Arat because he's not in competition with him at all. He's yeah. you know, 20. Well, well, he's, he's many kilos ahead of him uh, after the clean jerk. 18 kilos out. Right, once more weight, that will bring back going up as well. At 206 kilograms, Chor Moreno, Colombia. Only one lifter has made 206 here. Everybody move, and that 207 is going to end up being probably a very good call for Paredes to open at. Obviously, he's got such a massive lead in the snatch, but. But he's Columbia. setting himself up Gemma. for a very good Mendoza. metal position in the clean and jerk as well. Yeah. He comes out, makes that, he's the first one to make a 207. He's a man that definitely wants three gold medals. Okay, Mendoza now, 
course. He missed two of five on his second attempt. He made two hundred on his opener. That was pretty good, that opening attempt. Yeah. Tough clean. Yeah. He got way behind that bar and it just isn't in the right spot. It's too far back over no, his no, heels. No, yeah. No, Spat him out the back. So 366 no, kilos is his total. He's not going to end up with any medals. But the other Colombian lifter, Moreno, snuck a medal in the snatch. He's looking to sneak a medal in the clear and jerk and total. Sarat Sumpradit needs this lift. He went one for three in the snatch, 167. He's missed both jerks now. If he makes this, he's going to be at a 373 kilo total, which will momentarily at least put him in the bronze medal position, but it won't last long. Now he's a tremendously muscular athlete, Max. A lot of the lifters in this category, having moved up from the 89s, not quite filled out as much as Sumpradi and Lesman have. Yeah. He has to make this to stay in the competition. Better clean. He didn't go forward in that one. Huh? Yeah, it's as good wow. a clean as he could have hoped for, and the Best jerk yeah. is uh, yeah, perfection. Yeah. <laughs> he's scratching <laughs> his head. Why did I miss those last two? That was so easy. He's got a total. Yeah, a brilliant lift there, 206 kilos. You know, to be fair to him, he's in the silver medal position in the cleaner jerk right now. Yeah. But of course, we have both Lesman and Nagisa and uh, McCritchian and, and other athletes with attempts remaining. first attempt. Okay, opening attempt now for Lesman Paredes. I think he's going to be looking for a couple of things here. The, uh, all the golds, of course, the world record, but also I imagine a 216 kilo clean and jerk will be in the back of his mind. Yeah. Not only will that be a personal best for him in the clean and jerk, it will give him a 401 kilo total, which will be a kilo up on his world championships win from last year. So that'll be a personal record for him too. Always takes his time, walks out early on in his minute, gives him time to prepare himself mentally. Prior to the Asians, his best clean and jerk was only 212. 213? 213, yeah. sorry. So he's pretty close to his best abilities here. He's only eight kilos off his best ever. Solid clean. Very comfortable. Here comes the re-rack. Right into it. Yeah. You know, he well never done. looks incredibly comfortable in the clean and jerk. Good lift, he's, he's very good at it. That's probably, probably the gold medal locks up. You know, Nagisa will need to out clean and jerk Lesman by 12 kilos if he looks to beat him, which would require a 219 kilo clean and jerk attempt, assuming Lesman doesn't even make anything else, and that's more than uh, Nagisa has ever made. Okay, Arat now will need this. He missed his opening attempt. Again, points to those elbows. Not sure what he's got around his upper arm on his left arm. It's kind of uh, elastic band. Providing a bit of pressure, perhaps. Quick Fast. clean. Yep, that lockout. Uh, In fact, just the whole, there. the whole jerk didn't look comfortable. Oh, he's limping as well. Yeah. He may have pulled his hamstring. It looks like a high uh, origin Please pull there. Up on the 
Ibrahim yeah, he's got that turkey. Third is ham till ham. The wrapping minutes, above his knees, so clearly something going on with that. Continuamos con el mismo peso, 207 kilogramos. Para el atleta Ara Ibrahim dispone de dos minutos por ser el único levantador a intentar. So we still have two attempts remaining for four athletes. That's the Armenian Hakob Makritian who's still sitting on that 2.15 second attempt. He's just keeping a bird's eye view of everything to decide what it there is that he needs to drop down to meet. Uh, Nagisa Adila Tuli has 209 kilos written in. He's definitely looking to just maintain that silver medal slot. And then, of course, there's Mourinho. Max, Mourinho has put in 209 for his final attempt, which will move him up above Nagisa by a kilo. Do you think it's possible that Nagisa comes out uh, either first or even drops to 208 to try and just extend his lead too far for Mourinho to even attempt to overtake? I have to believe he's going to try that 209 first. Yeah. Possibly he puts 210 on there, but I don't think he would be realistic to think he can catch Lesman here. No, I think 209 for Adela Tully will be a nice deterrent to Mourinho. Put your hands together, Ibrahim Arat! Ibrahim Arat now 207 kilos for him. His best ever clean and jerk, according to our records, 202 kilos. That was back in 2017. So we haven't seen him in three years. Last time we saw him, he did 192. So he, he is way up. Ten seconds. A good clean, better than the first. Oh, just drove him down a bit too far. Yeah, and you know, he opened a massive personal record for him and took three attempts there, and he just wasn't able to stick any of them. So he's going to be another athlete who fails to put in a total. He'll be credited just with his opening snatch at 161 attempt. So now we kind of get down to a bit of a battle sorting of the medals here. Now, if Nagisa makes this, he's probably going to put his silver medal out of reach for Moreno. Moreno currently provisionally has 209 kilos written in. Also, in the situation when Nagisa misses this, Moreno will take it to, to uh, surpass him in the total. Of course, Nagisa has two attempts, whereas Moreno only has one. Every athlete who remains is looking to get a clean and jerk medal. Points to the elbow. Now he caught his opening clean a little bit far back, which slowed his stand. He had to yeah. regain his balance a bit. Normally he is very technically accurate. Up, oh, exactly that pushed the same back thing. again, yeah. You know, I've never seen Nagisa miss his cleans like this. He's landing very far back on the heels. He doesn't look stable at all. And Williams that opens up the door kilograms. for Mourinho because Mourinho can now take that lift Second in a attempt. couple of attempts time. Potentially move ahead of Nagisa. This has remained second attempt. It's a kilo Roman under Jordan. his best in training Marche from the year. No, in fact, sorry, it's a kilo under his competition best. Yeah, 210. From the year, uh, yeah. He said he has done 215 in training. So he's probably touched this weight many times. He's undergone pretty severe issues with his knees this year. Uh, bit forward on the toes, That's but he's got amazing. incredible leg strength. That's wow, what an, an amazing unbelievable turnaround. How on earth? I was convinced he wasn't even going to attempt standing up that clean. He was so out of position. That is a oh, testament to, to the benefit of his leg strength. Yeah. Being able to just grind that out like it didn't even matter to him. No, that clean save kind of felt nice. He came up onto his toes, tucked his hips, under, rounded his lumbar a little bit just to regain his balance. Somehow gets up with it. Okay, Mourinho now, this is big. If Mourinho hits this, he currently sits in the bronze medal position, but if he hits it, he moves into the silver medal position above Nagisa. Nagisa will then have one final attempt to answer him 
and move back into the silver. This is a really critical lift. If he doesn't make this, we might even see Hakko Makrichian go for that massive 215 to move ahead of Mourinho. He's been solid to this point, though. He's made the last two clean and jerks. That's very strong. Yep. This for the silver medal position. Wow, and that is incredible. What a strong athlete in front of his own crowd. The roar from the crowd erupts in the building. So amazing. What a fantastic session, the clean jerks. Mourinho takes a moment at the back of the platform to just lap in the roar from the crowd. He's done almost everything he could have done. He's gone four for six. Huge 170, sorry, five for six, 171 kilo snatch, three for three in the, in the clean jerk with 209. And he moves into the silver medal position. Nagisa now needs this lift to get into the silver medal position again. He's almost certainly guaranteed the bronze because he's too far ahead of the chasers, I would have thought. But he's going to want to solidify a silver. This will be his first world medal. He has to catch this clean midfoot if his weight's too far back. I would be surprised if he can get up with it. That's better. Much better, yeah. Beautiful clean. And that um, right there is the ticket. He moves up I into the silver medal position. Good lift. Three wide lights. He has established himself. He doesn't want to get off the platform. Yeah. He's so pleased with himself there. 383 total. Wow. He's now in second place. Four for six. That's a personal best in the total for him, I believe. 174, 209. He moves into silver. We have Yang Zhang Hak now, who is not able to get a total medal, having missed all of his snatches. But this lift is uh, definitely to move up into a medal slot in the clean jerk. That's to be a very solid lift for him. A phenomenally tough clean on the last attempt. He had maybe three bounces in the bottom of the squat before he was able to find the speed to get up out of the hole. An incredible contrast between his clean and his jerk. He uses the oscillation so well to get it overhead. It's a five kilogram PR for him. Wow. Rolls it in. Can he get up with it? He has to oh, fight again. Beautiful recovery. And you know what? He might hold it. I don't know if they'll give it to him. <laughs> that was an incredible fight. What an attempt. Oh, Whatever happens, oh, they're surely yeah. going to play a challenge Two card. Yeah. They're going to play the challenge card. They have to on yeah. that. The referee team to. is challenging the referee's yeah. decision. The challenge comes this in. This the jury to review the video playback. Now we're already watching it from inside the building. They've got it up. I think his left elbow was definitely a, oh, it's a bit tad tough. wobbly. A bit of shaking. Yeah. But the problem is, shaking cancels the press yeah. out, really. Yeah. Let's you know, see what they it's a say. Phenomenal fight. But he does train like this regularly, he hits big lifts in training, which are a little bit suspect. We see some head shakes there. I think the jury will uphold the decision from the referees, unfortunately. Yeah. Which probably means that Daniel Hack will not get a medal in the clean and jerk. The jury has confirmed the referee's yep. decision. They uphold it. No lift. No lift, unfortunately, <laughs> for Daniel <laughs> Hack. There's a boost from the crowd. He looks perplexed. He can't believe it. So we finally see. The last three the lifters here. Third attempt. Yeah. Representing from I think we're going to see Hakob come Hakob, out for yeah. this 211. He's dropped from 215. He's been waiting for so long. Almost every minutes. single attempt. Yeah. He's been sat waiting. And this lift will not move him into the medal position. But what it will do is move him into the gold medal position for the clean and jerk. 
He and Remain and Paredes will battle it out, most likely for these clean jerk medals. Yeah, if Merkuchin makes this, he puts himself in the current first place. We'll see though, he has been, he has been MIA for half this competition. Yeah, he uh, <laughs> will be had time to pop back to the hotel, have a nap and return. Yeah. Uh, he falls backward. I yeah. have to wonder what he did in the back room in between those sessions, or in between those lifts. Yeah, there's almost it's no oh, ideal way to prepare for such a long, yeah. long gap. Did he drop down and wave back up, or did he just hit a few lighter lifts? So now the logical move is for everyone to move to 212 here. That would bring Lesman out first if he, if he does make the increase. Para intentar ganar una medalla en el campeonato del mundo, Bogotá 2022. Por primera vez en la historia del Mundo, Bogotá va a poder solidify that bronze medal, which is possibly the smartest move. Unless he needs the extra time, it won't solidify the bronze because both Romain and Lesman could move ahead of him, but it will solidify medal. So a little bit of uh, Armenian ammonia for Hakov Makrichi in there just to get himself feeling more focused before he comes out for this. He's made this before in competition in the lighter weight category, so it's well within his capabilities if he can find the right balance there. Please welcome back, representing Armenia, third attempt, 211 kilograms, Hakov Makrichan. Better clean. Tough re-rack. Here comes a squat jack attempt. <laughs> yeah. Jumping forward, the bar being back, just was not there today. No, that clean just took a little bit too much out of him. So three attempts remaining, one of them for Romain Medushan, who will probably drop down to 211. Two athletes between them. Oh, no. 212 it's kilograms, please. Representing yeah, Bahrain. Lesman will come out now. Second 212 attempt, kilos. Lesman Paredes. I suppose Romain actually has already guaranteed himself a medal. In fact, he sits in the lead in the clean and jerk, having made 209 first. Yeah. So Lesman now has definitely won his second World Championships title. He's now looking to just grab his third gold of the day. 212 kilos. This will set him up nicely if he makes it for a 216 kilo personal record clean and jerk in total at 401. I believe only three 96s have ever been over 400 kilos. Miso, Hassona, Tian Tao, and Sarab Maradi. Good clean. And make the readjustment in his hands. Right to the jerk, yeah. and it's good. Yeah, very strong. Wow. He is happy. Yeah, I mean, it's just so difficult to beat this man. You have to be so strong in the cleaner jerk to catch up with the snatch. His snatch is just extraordinary. You know, the greatest yeah. snatcher this category has ever seen. So now the battle grams. for gold in the clean and jerk. It yeah. really comes down to Medushane if he can make attempt. this lift. Right, His clean was absolutely excruciatingly slow and tough, but the recovery was almost effortless. <laughs> yes, the jerk <laughs> legs are so strong. Let's see what he's capable of here now. He's asking for a bit of support, a little bit of external motivation to help him. Hoist this way up onto his shoulders. The 
This is two kilos below his training best. It's a new personal best in competition. It's a better clean better than clean. the last attempt. You have to think it's possible. Wow. And it is. Wow. Remain <laughs> Imadushan. 213 ecstatic. kilos. Good and he win. gets his Imadushin. three white lights. That oh, means win. he's guaranteed oh, at least a oh, silver oh, in the clean and jerk. He may well end up with a gold. It comes oh, down to what Lesman Paredes is capable of. What an impressive performance. Romain Imadushan, that was five for six lifts. Fantastic. Now, what's more important to Lesman? Is it the clean and jerk gold, or is it uh, getting a personal best in the clean and jerk and in the total? Will he go for 216? Yeah, he's, he, wow, 219. He wants 220, I would have thought. He may, he may call for that after. You know, a lot of athletes, a lot of uh, people in the IWF just turned and looked at Essek, the president of the Bahraini Federation. He just gestured to say, well, I don't know what he's doing. No, it beats me. And uh, that's an enormous attempt that he's going to take here. He looked over here, we made eye contact, and he gave me a big smirk. Yep. I think he knows what's going to come here. Oh. So he's 214 on the bar. I wonder if they saw the writing was written as 214, and it looked like a 219. Uh, right. That's probably what happened. The speaker gave the wrong number. So he's going to solidify three gold medals. He went three for three in the snatch. He may well go three for three in the cleaning jerk. It's a kilo below his personal best that he hit at the Asian Championships. And it's going to be a kilo below his personal best total from yep. the last World Championships, which he also won. This man is now undefeated in six international competitions. You know, a gesture that not only calms himself, but silences the audience. Oh, I don't think he's kind of got up with it. But you know what? It really doesn't matter. Lesman Paredes is the world champion. A phenomenal 397 kilo total. Nobody came close. 14 kilos up on the silver medalist, Nagisa Adilatuli, who went 174, 209, a personal record total for him. The bronze medal, again, goes to Colombia. Colombia has been incredible at this World Championship. Moreno goes 171 in the snatch, 209 in the clean and jerk, personal best total at 380 kilos. A phenomenal session there, and the reigning world champion remains the world champion. Lesman Paredes now for competing for Bahrain. Uh, how many yeah. times have we seen an athlete become a world champion across two countries? It's not uncommon for athletes to change countries, but it's rare for them to maintain their form. And if anything, Lesman is still on the up. A truly amazing performance. We actually had uh, William Pena on the mic the whole time. He is the president of the Colombian Federation, narrating or announcing that entire session. Yeah. Uh, a presumably a, a, an interesting event to have the support still of the Colombian Federation for Lesman. A yeah. great session as well. Three lifters making five for six lifts. A little bit of a departure from what we've seen in this competition. Yeah. A lot of misses. Uh, ultimately, you know, one of the most exciting sessions so far. Some drama as far as warm-ups go, mm -hmm. I would say. Uh, and then, you know, one of the standout performances there outside of Paredes is Amadou Shane making that third clean and jerk to secure himself the gold medal in the clean and jerk. Absolutely extraordinary. Well, that's going to be it for this men's 96 kilo session. We are going to be back in uh, not long, 20 minutes for the women's 71 kilo session. We get to see Loredana Toma. We get to see the two Americans. It's going to be a stacked session. Make sure you're there for it. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you for the women's 71s.